एटीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय आयशा नायाब फर्स्ट दी हेडलाइंस फेडरल कैबिनेट हैज डिसाइडेड टू सेंड सफिशेंट क्वांटिटी ऑफ वीट एंड राइस टू अफगानिस्तान टू हेल्प अफगान पीपल इन द इमर्जिंग ह्यूमानिटेरियन क्राइसिस Prime Prime Minister Minister has urged the government servants to uphold morality in discharge of their official responsibilities. Minister for Planning and Development says the government is keen to reform power sector with focus on reducing circular debt. Esas Russian Riyadh portal was opened today to register deserving families and Kiryana merchants for provision of daily use items on subsidized rates. President says the atrocity is being committed against Muslims in India and the illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir testifies Iqbal's two nation theory. China says it will not attend the regional security dialogue on Afghanistan to be hosted by India tomorrow. And now the news in detail. The federal cabinet had decided to send sufficient quantity of wheat flour and rice to Afghanistan to help Afghan people facing emerging humanitarian crises. This was announced by Minister for Information and Broadcasting Chaudhry Fawad Hussain while briefing media in Islamabad today about the decisions taken at the cabinet meeting which held in the federal capital with the Prime Minister Imran Khan in the chair. The Information Minister said the cabinet has also decided to ease imports from Afghanistan Pakistan to Pakistan to reinforce Pakistan's humanitarian efforts for Afghanistan the cabinet also decided to set up a fund for collecting contributions to help Afghan people who are already suffering from food shortage the information minister said according to a recent report of the United Nations 23 million Afghan people are facing food shortage in current situation while minor children are being sold to get food stuff he said in this regard we are trying our best to convey our concerns to the world community and it is the high time to take action to avert an emerging humanitarian crisis in the war torn country Prime Minister Imran Khan says international community has a moral obligation to avert humanitarian disaster in Afghanistan In a tweet today, the Prime Minister said he had already been warning of humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan and now the World Food Program chief has also issued an alert in this regard. He said Pakistan will continue to provide all possible relief to the neighboring country, but international community must also act now. Prime Minister Imran Khan has urged government servants to uphold morality in the discharge of their official responsibilities. Addressing the passing out ceremony of Pakistan Administrative Service in Islamabad today, he said moral decline is one of the major causes of our economic degradation as it helped to flourish in corrupt elements in the country. The Prime Minister said corruption is the most common thing among poor countries and its major cause is loss of morality. The Prime Minister urged urged the newly passed officers to conduct a periodic study of muslim rule that teaches us about the power of moral values Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar says the government is keen to reform power sector with focus on reducing circular debt. He was talking to a delegation of World Bank led by its South Asia Regional Director for Infrastructure, Ganzi Shen in Islamabad today. The minister underscored the importance of the World Bank's assistance for expansion and modernization of country's electricity transmission system. He said the government is working to revamp Pakistan Bureau of Statistics with the aim of modernization of statistical system and to enable it for high frequency data generation the world bank's regional director supported the energy reform agenda of government including circular debt management national command and operation center has emphasized on stepping up 
administration of second dose of COVID-19 vaccine to eligible individuals so as to sufficiently raise the immunity level of population. A meeting of NCOC chaired by Minister for Planning and Development Asaduma was held in Islamabad today to review progress of the nationwide vaccination drive. Appreciating implementation of obligatory vaccination regime, the minister urged all federating units to avoid complacency as uh, the threat is not over yet. China says its joint efforts with Pakistan against COVID-19 pandemic have achieved a positive progress and set a good example for the world. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin during his regular briefing in Beijing today, Pakistan and China are strategic cooperative partners and they have been standing together in mutual assistance since the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. The spokesperson said Pakistan is a priority in China's vaccine assistance and exports. This is Radio Pakistan. The SR's Russian Riyadh portal was opened today to register deserving families as well as Kriana merchants for provision of daily use items on subsidized rates. Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Poverty Elevation and Social Protection, Dr. Sanya Nishtar, along with senior officials of National Bank of Pakistan, during visit in Islamabad enrolled the first Kriana merchant on the portal. The registration can be carried out through the online SR's of Russian portal srsrussian.pass.gov.pk. Dr. Sanya has also released an instructional video to guide deserving families and Kriana merchants step by step about the program rollout. Describing the modalities of the program during a media briefing, she said only 1% from each household will be eligible to get registered in the Russian Riot program. President Dr. Arif Alvi says atrocities being committed against Muslims in India and the illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir testifies the two-nation theory presented by Dr. Allama Muhammad Iqbal. Addressing the inaugural session of the three-day international conference on Allama Muhammad Iqbal in Islamabad today, he said the Indian Muslims have been facing atrocities at the hands of RSS-inspired Modi regime. The president said Allama Muhammad Iqbal motivated Muslims through his poetic masterpieces to prepare themselves for the future challenges. China has made it clear that it will not attend a regional security dialogue on Afghanistan being hosted by India. Speaking at regular briefing, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Bingbang said due to scheduling reasons, it is inconvenient for China to attend the meeting. India has invited last month Russia, China, Iran, Pakistan and all the Central Asian nations to attend Delhi regional security dialogue on Afghanistan to be held tomorrow. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops arrested several people during house raids and cordon and search operations in different areas of the territory. According to Kashmir Media Service, the troops, along with paramilitary and police personnel, arrested over a dozen youth in Baramulla, Islamabad, Pulwama, Rajori, Poonch, and Jammu districts during cordon and search operations. Search operations were also conducted in Sirinagar, Badagam, Kupwara, Bandipura, Kulgam, Shopanya, Raisi, Samba districts. Meanwhile, military operation continued on 30th consecutive day today in Surankot, Thanamandi and Mandhir areas of Pont and Rajuri districts. The All Parties Huryat Conference spokesman in a statement in Srinagar criticized the Modi-led fascist Indian government over the incessant deployment of occupation troops in the territory. Palestinian Prime Minister Mohammed Ishtiai has urged the United States to recognize an independent Palestinian state. In a press statement at the end of a meeting with the delegation of United States Congress members headed by Senator Ben Cardin, Palestinian Prime Minister also asked Washington to implement the pledges it made to Palestinians, mainly reopening the U.S. consulate in East Jerusalem. Mohammed Ishtiai discussed with the delegation the future of Israel Israeli-Palestinian peace process amid Israeli government's attempts to undermine two-state solution and violating the Palestinian rights. 
The first semi-final of ICC T20 Cricket World Cup will be played between New Zealand and England in Abu Dhabi tomorrow at 7 p.m. In the second semi-final, Pakistan will take on Australia in Dubai on Thursday at 7 p.m. And now, weather report. Mainly dry weather is likely to prevail in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletin on the link facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.